Hello everyone and welcome back to another MAC chess game by the legend. For some, one of the greatest chess players of all times. For many, actually. Jose Raul Capablanca. His opponent is Cornel Havasi. Let's see what happened in this chess game. His opponent was a strong chess master. So, Jose Raul Capablanca starts the game with pushing the d-pawn, d5, c4, e6, knight to f3, capturing the pawn, the queen's gambit accepted, e4, c5, bishop takes on c4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, developing the knights, a6, Capablanca castled, bishop to c5, bishop to e3, and black is also developing the knight. But in this position, Capablanca made a decision. Capablanca decided to sacrifice his bishop. Bishop takes on e6, capturing the bishop and capturing back with the knight. This is forking the queen and the bishop and also attacking on g7. So actually white has a very good compensation, knight takes on g7, but this is a little bit risky. King to f7 and then knight goes back. Capablanca has two pawns. Uh, sorry, Capablanca has three pawns for the piece. And in this position we have knight to e5, checking the king. If blocking with the bishop, queen takes on b7 is a possibility. And that's a nasty attack. So king to g6. And we have centralizing the rook. Bishop goes back, knight. To e2, h5, Capablanca is placing the rook in the open file, both rooks are in the open file, so you can see the importance of the open files, Capablanca knew that, Ooh, rook to g8, checking the king, king back, and then attacking the queen, black wants to exchange the queens. Actually so far this is not like black is losing, but uh, white is also not losing, black is a piece up. But white has three extra pawns for the piece and that's a very good compensation. And also as you can see the black king is exposed. Before exchanging the queens, Capablanca is checking the king with the rook, king back and then exchanging the queens. And in this position we have rook to d8 by Jose Raul Capablanca. His both rooks are infiltrating. Attacking the king, so black is much more passive, white is much more attacking. As you can see, look at black rooks, they are on the back. White rooks uh, are more aggressive, Capablanca is the aggressor, black is defensive. So we can say that black is much more passive, black is in the ropes. But now in this position, what would you do when I first saw this chess game? Of course, uh, I'm checking out the games without analyzing the games uh, with the chess engine in the beginning. And then I put the games on the chess engine and analyze the games better so that I won't make any mistake when I'm commentating these chess games. So when I first saw this chess game, uh, I just thought to myself, why on earth black is not playing bishop to b4? And actually it turns out that I was right. In this position, black played rook takes on a2 and this was a mistake. But in this position, if bishop to b4, which was the best move according to the computer chess engine, if rook takes bishop, then rook takes rook, and that's losing. So, in the game, rook takes on g8 is a possibility, king takes, knight to h6, king to f8, and then f3. So in this position, let's make a simple calculation. If you capture like this, then rook takes rook. Rook from a takes on c8. And how to how to capture now? If capturing like this, then rook takes rook. Okay, so it is obvious that black is winning. So in this position, this is why I think bishop to b4 was the best move but then we have rook takes on g8 and then knight check king to f8 and f3 and white has some plan and actually you can see that developing this bishop is not that easy so black has to be careful and this is why in this position rook takes on a2 was a ridiculous move 
and then Capablanca captured back. If in this position, by the way, <laughs> if uh, instead of capturing like this, if Capablanca would make a blunder, <laughs> that would be funny. If capturing the bishop like this, okay, then black has back rank checkmate. And white is getting checkmated. There is no defense. So, but capturing like this is, is a very safe move because if checking with the rook, rook down and white is defending. So knight to c4 by Cornell Havasi. This connecting to rook, attacking the bishop on b6 and threatening checkmate. It looks like Jose Raul Capablanca is in big trouble. Well, Capablanca is two pawns up in this position if he can simplify the chess game, which is one of his specialities. He is going to win this chess game. He, is, he was very good when it comes to simplify the chess games. Well, Capablanca is giving the fly square to the king but losing the bishop and what now? What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Can you guess the next move of Jose Raul Capablanca? Well, he played rook takes on f8. And we have knight from f to d7. If rook takes on f8, then checking the king, forking king and the rook, but most importantly, black is getting checkmated and there is no defense. So this is why rook takes on f8 was a very strong move by Capablanca, knight back, and then rook to f7 by Capablanca. And black actually resigned at this moment of the game. Uh, let me show you the possible continuation. Rook takes on b2 and then knight to d5. Actually, I think black resigned here. So that was a mistake by me. Knight to d5 and black resigned and this position is losing. So let me show you the possible continuation. If knight takes knight, then rook takes and that's all over. So you can't defend the checkmate threat. So knight to d5 was a very strong move. If h4, then capturing the knight, capturing, and black is getting checkmated. So in this position, if something like rook to f8, which was the best move according to the computer chess engine, then capturing, and then capturing the knight, and whatever black does, black is basically losing a piece. So sorry for that mistake. Uh, anyway, it's, I think that was not a tremendously big mistake so after Capablanca played knight to d5 black resigned he threw in the towel and there is nothing more to be done in this position so Capablanca is threatening to capture and then checkmate okay so what do you think about this chess game this was also a classic amazing chess game by Jose Raul Capablanca and let's get back to this position when he actually uh, sacrificed a piece out of the blue. Bishop takes on e6. Maybe this was a surprising move for Havasi. Maybe he was not expecting this. And actually white has good compensation. So in this position after knight to d5, black resigned. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and bye bye.